Hi guys, today I'm doing a mascara review. Your favorite, my favorite, everyone's favorite. Um, my hair is wet, I barely have any makeup on, but I really want to try this mascara, so yeah. So this is a brand I only recently heard of. I think I read some article about it. It's called Stowaway Cosmetics. I got mascara, looks like this. I just want to give you a little information about the brand since I, it's new to me. So I got the Stowaway Lengthening Mascara. They have a volumizing one too, but this one is the waterproof one. So that's why I want to try it. You guys know I'm all about length and I need waterproof because nothing holds a curl on me. You can watch my other mascara reviews. I recently did um, trying four cruelty free mascaras if you want to check that out. This is cruelty free, just so you know, the whole brand is. So this mascara was $9 and it comes in a nice box. Packaging came with like tissue paper and like this tiny little box which I think is really nice because it's not wasteful packaging like a lot of brands have. Like you get a box this big with a mascara this size. I like that this brand did that. So this brand um, is very affordable even though it's like luxury so I think that's nice. It's not like drugstore prices but it's like right above it. So like I said like this mascara was $9 which is kind of high for the drugstore in my opinion but very low compared to, let's say, like Urban Decay, this one was $20. I also want to mention I did get free shipping. I think you get free shipping on your first order. They have a loyalty program. They also have a program where when you're done with your product, that you can send it back to them for free. They'll give you the shipping label. And for every three products you send back that you're done with, they give you $5 of credit for their website. So I think that's a really cool thing that they do. They're also very honest about how much their products cost to make. They have like a whole rundown of every product that they sell, how much it costs for the packaging, for the actual product, for the testing of everything, how much it costs, and how much they sell it for versus how much a different brand would sell it for. And I just think that's really cool of them. And this is also a smaller size, as you can tell, this is still in the box, but I mean, this compared to this, pretty tiny. It almost is like a travel size, but a little bit bigger. So that was something I noticed and I thought, hmm, why is it so small? And then I went back on the site and found out that they do sell like their lipsticks everything is like smaller than what you normally get because when is the last time you used up a lipstick that's one of the reasons they're able to you know have less waste they have less you know the prices are cheaper so I think that that's okay and I think with a mascara I've had like travel size mascaras last a very long time so I'm not too concerned nine dollars I think is pretty fair for a cruelty free mascara this is a little thing how cute is that this is actually supposed to be a dupe for their real by benefit I don't like their real by benefit I really don't I think it's scratchy and it's hard to remove even though it's not waterproof and just didn't do anything for my lashes now I do hope this one will it might not but you know life is life oh I do want to say like I said they are cruelty free but they are not vegan because they do use beeswax in a lot of their products so if that's something that's concerning to you um now you know. So let's look at the brush and the packaging. So like the packaging, it feels very luxurious high and it does not by any means feel like a drugstore mascara to me. And the wand, like I said, is bigger, like longer than it would be um, for travel size. You can see that here, but it's not like as long as your normal mascara. This is a rubber bristle brush, as you can see. It looks almost identical to their real. I wish I had that to compare, but has a little ball-y thing on the end and it's all plastic and looks spiky. It also looks wet, which isn't my favorite. I'm more of a dry formula kind of gal, but we're gonna curl washes and go in with the mascara. I'm so excited. Okay, let's go in before the curl drops. And the curl's already falling. My lashes. This is what I'm dealing with. I can't even get the mascara on before the curl drops. So if you're in this boat with me, you might want to stick around and watch my mascara reviews. <laughs> It is a little scratchy like the they're real. It doesn't feel as wet as I thought it would. It's definitely not building any volume. Well, it's not clumping whatsoever, you can see. I mean, it's very, very, very fining. The curl isn't falling immediately, so that's actually a really good sign. I'm gonna pop it on the lower lash line because it is waterproof, and we'll see what happens. All those brushes are pretty humongous. I'm pretty impressed. Hmm, wow, look at that. <laughs> Let's do the other eye. It's not irritating me. I do get, um, I do have pretty sensitive eyes, I get irritated from a lot of mascaras and it does not feel itchy or burning or anything, so that's a good sign. If this does last all day, I am going to film removing it to see how hard it is to remove because that's something, you know, when you wear a waterproof mascara, if you could find one that sticks around, doesn't flake or smudge, 
and is easy to remove, you're in business, guys. And for $9, I kind of like how short the um, wand is, actually. Makes it way easier to, like, get right in there, and it won't get on your nose. I'm loving this. Uh, what the heck? Should I try more from this brand? Leave a comment below if you want me to try more. And I like that you can keep going over and over and over without clumping. This side got a little messy up top. Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. I really like it a lot. Wow. I really like it. Let's do a nice close-up of it. It's, this looks so good. Oh my god. I can't believe how much I like this actually i'm shocked let's see if it's dry it is it dries fast that's the best i hate like right now if i sneezed it wouldn't get all over and it's not soft to the touch but it's not like super crispy where i feel like it's gonna be really hard to remove but i do get the feeling it's not gonna be that easy to remove either i will try to check back as often as i can today and then like i said when we remove it i'll be back with a check-in i just wanted to show you a natural light this is on my phone but it's been an hour a little over an hour since i applied the mascara and I think it looks really good. Like, look, the curl is 100% still there. I think it looks good. So, just want to check in. It's been about six, six and a half hours since I had the mascara on. So, let's do a close up and then we're going to remove it. I still think it looks pretty good. I think the curl isn't as fresh and like prominent as it was, but it's definitely still there. Like, when I look directly straight ahead, you can still see my lashes. Is there any flakes? Maybe a few little flakes underneath here. I think I'd be like, oh my god, I love so many flakes. No smudges. I feel like it's not, not I don't want to say clumped, but like, it's definitely not as like fluttery looking as it was. And when I just did that, it feels so crispy. Like, wow. Okay, so I do feel like it's gonna be really, really hard to remove. So I have an extra little cotton pad here. I'm gonna use the same makeup remover I used in my mascara review video of this four mascaras, which is the Cetaphil Gentle Makeup Remover. I find this works really well. Waterproof mascara and it doesn't irritate me or it's not too oily or anything like that. I have no other eye makeup on, by the way. So it, like anything that comes off on this cotton pad is 100% purely this mascara. <laughs> That's pretty good actually, wow. The fact that it's smudging on my eyelid actually means it's not that hard to remove. I think it had, it said it had argan oil on it, so that might be why it's breaking down a lot easier than a lot of other waterproof mascaras. Oh my god, I think it's all off. That was surprisingly easy. I might not even use a second cotton pad. What the hey? I think this might be my new favorite mascara. That's pretty much all gone. That's it. It was really easy to remove. I really like this. I'm like, sorry, I keep looking at the fact that all mascara is gone. Like, what the heck? Two thumbs up, five out of five. I love this mascara. I'd highly recommend checking it out. I will have it linked down below. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, a normal size thumbs up. All the thumbs are the same size. And subscribe to see more from me. I'll see you next time. Bye.